Farina our Hydro Archon or Fake Archon. Who really knows at this point? Regardless is the best Archon yet. I know a lot of people go on about how annoying she is, like they did about Hu Tao. I can see where they are coming from or comparing her to official, but honestly, I think you just need to loosen up a little in my eyes. Shake those arms and those legs. Yes, I know you've been sitting down all day. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Farina has actually managed to swindle her way into probably being my favourite character in the game up to this point. So, what's so good about Farina? It's a combination of many things which makes me love Farina, starting with her personality. Farina does everything with the utmost pride and it's so hilarious at all the moments in the Archon Quest where she is proven wrong. The combination of her flaws is so humorous to watch and relatable because we all have flaws. It's lovely how in her court cases they seem more like a performance than a court of law. In fact, Farina is more like a performer when delivering her Archon duties and honestly I haven't loved an Archon quest as much as Fontaine's one and I think a large part of that is because of Farina's personality and the voice actor's delivery on that bratty personality is actually really good like got me surprised. With that added droplet of Fontaine lore personally I believe that Farina is acting this way and doing all of this because of the prophecy which rumoured all her people in Fontaine will disappear. I believe she feels powerless and on edge the more the prophecy comes true and is trying to have the best time with her people before her nation disappears or at least make sure they remember her fondly. I would love to hear what everybody thinks about her personality down below in the comments so uh, let me know and I'll gladly give it a read. Next up is the fact that she is Hydro. Over time Hydro has become my favourite element in the game. Before it used to be Animo because of how fun the Animo characters are and their CC, but Hydro pulled up in front of it because it is broken. Yeah, maybe that's a little bit of the meta save inside of me, but how couldn't you love Hydro reactions? Oh, and Hydro is a colour blue. Believe it or not, blue happens to be my favourite colour. The combination of teams that Hydro has enabled so far makes me excited to try out for Reno, especially considering I have seen a kit, which I confirm looks fun and looks very broken. Her being a Hydro has obviously seeped into her design, which I absolutely love, and the way that she changes outfits and alignments when you charge attack is absolutely perfection. Magnifique, yes, all of a sudden I'm French. And those teardrop eyes? Wow, marvellous. Talking of those charge attacks, and that kit I, you know, kind of hinted at earlier, her kit is absolutely broken and I can't wait to pair her with Hu Tao and Yulan and really everyone. I have to be honest, like, we're up to a 75% damage bonus to the entire party in an elemental burst which has a 100% uptime and no range limitation. Combined with her off-field Hydra application from her elemental skill is insane. However, I don't want to nerd out about it in this video too much and gladly will make another video if you guys want me to. I don't know how much I'll invest into her vertically, but at least her and her weapon maybe C1 or C2, maybe even C6. Who knows? However, let me know if you are excited for Farina by leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. Tell me if you're pulling for her down below. Actually gonna stay up for her release and stream on the night. So, can't wait to see you all there. Peace.